Hey, this is Brian Jones from elearningart.com. Uh, today I wanted to show you how you can create your own simple icons um, in PowerPoint by starting with uh, pictures of the real object and then tracing over them. So let's go ahead and actually get into the slides in PowerPoint here and I'll show you what you can do. Now I won't have time to show you everything uh, in here, but basically um, let me uh, I get the selection of visibility pane open. Um, here is you know, the start of what I created here and it started with a picture and then I traced this on top of it and then what I ended up doing was turning it black and you know you can save it out. But this is all uh, then, then vector with PowerPoint shapes. Um, so I definitely won't be able to go through the whole thing but uh, let me just show you a, a couple of the things that, that I did. So um, if I'm starting with this shape here, let's say I wanted to create a, a wheel um, I would go to insert shape and let's grab the donut shape. Where is that? Uh, donut, donut, donut. There it is. Donut. And if I hold shift, it'll keep it as a perfect circle there. And um, my number one tip for this is let's create a uh, semi transparent shape. So let's go format shape. And then you'll see as I go semi transparent, you can see the picture underneath it and that's really going to help you out um, and I like to remove the line too um, so that's pretty good so now let me close that and you'll see um, I like to in the, my quick access toolbar have the the sizing here also you know hold shift I can kinda make that closer to the shape closer to the shape and I'm not gonna do a perfect job here because I just won't have time um, but let's say that's the size I want and then I can scale this and now I have kind of a wheel looking thing there. That's pretty good. Um, now the other thing that I like to do, let's say I am uh, going to want to create um, these little pieces uh, that are going to be the frame. So I insert a shape. It's going to be you know, a rectangle. And if I want to copy the format of the other one over here, Control Shift C. And now Control Shift V will make that semi transparent. Great. Now, um, a lot of times what I'm trying to do here, that's a little too wide for most of the frame. I can control that later, but um, I'll right click on that and uh, I'll actually go to size and position. And I really like to, to rotate the shape to get things right. So here it's at a zero rotation, but let's say I'm trying to get this piece of the frame on there. I can just keep, oh, that's gonna be rotating it the wrong way. I just crank it around until I get it how I want. Now I can draw it on top of there, and then I can control the the sizing of it here. So shape height will extend it down. Um, another thing that's helpful. Let's go to insert shape, and when I'm doing my lines, you'll see it's actually really nice with this wheel. Um, since I did the donut shape, it'll help me with the connections. So I can drop that there, and then I can duplicate it and rotate. And actually, I don't even have to rotate it. Um, with these, because the connectors will be there, I can get it perfect. Um, and if I hide that picture, you know, I can start to see the various shapes. Um, and uh, let me show you a few other things real quick. So the two other things I'm hoping to show you is how I created the seat um, by modifying the shape. Let's go, you know, sure, sort of shape, an oval. Let's drag it to get it, you know, kind of close to what I want. Again, I want to copy that semi-transparency. Control Shift C. Control Shift V, and now I can actually go in here, format, edit shape, edit points, and uh, I can add, add a point, and drag it around until I get the shape the way that I want it. Now I'm not going to spend the time to do it right, but you can play around with that there. Um, the one other thing would be to show you how I did the handlebar. So again, insert shape. Let's start with an oval. Get it, you know, kind of right. Maybe I'd rotate it, maybe I wouldn't get the semi-transparency so I can see through. Control Shift C, Control Shift V. And then I use shape union and shape subtract. So, you know, let's create another oval, keep it the same scale slightly down, put it kind of on top of there. Click the first one, then the second one, and now shape subtract, which I have on my quick access toolbar, and boom. And then I could do another one with a, a rectangle and cut that off there. Anyways, then I turn it black and uh, and I can group it, save it as an EMF or a PNG, and uh, we're good to go. Hope you find that useful.